to make your eye shape, if I'm going to do the same color, take a strip. And I'm going to actually fold this in half so it's sort of an oval, like a rectangle because I want this to be more of an oval shape so that I have a part that flaps down and opens up. So I'm going to fold it one more time. Now I'm cutting through four pieces of paper. This is going to be the top of my eye and this is going to come up. So it's going to be sort of almost an entire circle but not quite. So I'm going to curve it around and it's sort of like a U shape. And then when I open this up, I have eyes. And I can always flip them over too so that they, I can face them towards each other and they still open up. If I do it like this, where they are angled toward each other, that makes it, it look maybe a little bit angry. It's scowling. So you can see this is about the size of the blue part. This has to be smaller, so I'm gonna fold it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to cut this. I find it easier to work from a square than it is to work from a different shape. And then I'm going to start to cut. And circles are tricky. Remember, you have to turn while you cut. So you get a nice round shape and no choppy edges. And I just keep going around. And I have my eyes. Now I want to do a black shape. Fold it in half. So this is going to make my life easier. I'm cutting once to get two circles. See if it fits. Well, see that's pretty big. That takes up almost all of the black. I want this to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to sort of trim it. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. So I'm going to go all the way around again and take a little bit more off. That way, I get to see more black. I can just do a little curve on one of the edges to give it a little bit more definition. And then I cut a whole bunch of skinny rectangles like this. So now that I have all my pieces cut for my dragon, I'm ready to glue for the, glue the eyes. The first thing you want to want to do, especially if you have an orange-tipped bottle, is you twist the bottle open. You should see the white part kind of go disappear. If there's any white left, it's probably dry glue, so you'll want to pick that off when you glue. You always put your glue on the smaller piece, so I want to put the white onto the blue. And there's two ways you can do this. You can do dot, dot, not a lot. Or you can do like a frame around your piece. So I'm touching the glue bottle to my paper, and then I'm drawing a line with glue around the outside edge. It's not on the edge. So then when I set it down, it doesn't squish out. I don't have oozy goozies. Now when I go to put my eyelashes on, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to just put five little dots. around the tip of the edge and then I'm going to place these on top. I don't want to curl those lashes quite yet because they're still drying. But I want to place my eyes 